Torah tells us in this expression about the mitzvah of tochacha ocheach, tochiach esamisecha, you should admonish your friend, velo sisa alav chet, but it should not yield a sin. And it's not 100% clear what exactly that term means. Rashi comments that you should not do it if it's going to embarrass the person. You need to be careful, the context, the place in which you give tochacha, in which you admonish your friend, in which you give musr, in which you point out to somebody that they are acting improperly. At the same time, others point out the double language of hocheach tochiach is before you're going to tell somebody else, hocheach, make sure to uh, take care of yourself. And uh, check your own uh, tzitzis, as they say, before you're going to, before you're going to speak to somebody else to criticize them. I want to share a beautiful insight from Yaakov Kamenetsky. Yaakov Kamenetsky points out the following: What is the nature of the mitzvah of tochacha? Meaning, we generally categorize mitzvahs as being adam lemakom, between man and a god, and being adam lechavero, and between man and his fellow man. Where does this mitzvah fit in? And if you take a moment to pause and to think about it, it's a very interesting question, because on the one hand, it certainly has to do with my relationship to another person, so I might think that it's being adam lechaver, or that it's interpersonal, but it's really about making sure that somebody else is doing the will of Hashem, almost as if there's a task force, a police force, ensuring that the mitzvahs that Hashem wants us to do are done. So if we are trying to enforce it, we're trying to make sure that people are doing the mitzvahs of Hashem, that would be our responsibility to the Rebona Shalom, to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to God, that his mitzvahs are being kept. And although that perspective may be a common one, Ryako Kamenetsky suggests that in fact, and maybe one of the proofs is the Rashi that we just cited, is in fact a mitzvah being Adam Lechavero. It is an interpersonal mitzvah. It's an interpersonal mitzvah. What's his proof? He says, well, if it's a mitzvah between different, between man and Hashem, so why, who cares if you're going to embarrass the person? We don't like to embarrass people, but it's not about what that person, the person is doing the wrong thing. We have to protect the honor of Hashem. So you might say it's like killing, but either way, it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem to be that it would be appropriate, even if it's going to cause the other person a slight embarrassment to not take care of the honor of Hashem. Further, the Gemara says that even if the person fights back, then you stop. Why do you stop if it's the honor of Hashem? Don't stop back even if the person is yelling at you. So it seemed to be that it is a mitzvah in Adam Lachavero. What's that mitzvah? How do we understand that? It's that I want and should want what's best for you. And if I know that following the mitzvahs of Hashem is what is best for you, then I want to give that to you. But at the moment when you push back, okay, so you, you don't want. If you don't want what's good for you, that's your decision. That's on you, and that is no longer on me. Why is that eye-opening? The reason that it's eye-opening is because that shifts the perspective of how we should perceive somebody who criticizes us. Meaning when we are not doing the right thing, so with the natural reaction and common reaction is we become very defensive and become upset at that person. But if we realize that the person is just trying to make sure as if they're returning a lost object, you veered a little bit, you're not doing what's best for you, and I'm just trying to help you, then it puts a different spin on it. It's a realization that maybe I, I, I did do something and, and, and that person, he doesn't care. It's not about what that person wants but it should be an appreciation for the person that they're giving me, they're restoring me in terms of our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's one of the hardest middos to master. Now, there's a common practice during the Mesosphira to work on the different middos uh, that are listed in the Brisa, in Avos, the 48 steps to be kona, to acquire Torah. And one of them is Ohev Es to love being rebuked. Someone who's in Ohev Es HaTochachos has loved giving the rebuke. The more simple understanding is to look. Why would one love being rebuked? Because you have this perspective. If you understand, and again, it depends on the person who's giving you the criticism, but if somebody's giving it to you in a wholesome way, in a way in which they're looking out for you, then it's our job to let our guard down. It's our job to accept that, because that's the only way to improve. It's the only way to grow. And it's when we grow 
and we continue to work on our mitzvahs and getting and our mitos and getting closer to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that we're able to achieve and maximize our potentials.